Good morning. Oh, I saw your ad. Good, good. Well, pretty late. Got all kinds of toys. Yeah. Grandkids are just out running. Yeah. Morning. Is this one five as well? I think it was the same as us. Yeah. Okay. I'll probably buy that one. These are neat. Chili out here. I'll start making a pile if that's okay. Um, I can set it <laughs> yeah, on yeah. the other side here. Yeah. Okay. That'll be. Okay. Thank you so much. Got some interesting motors and stuff. Uh, yeah, I have a lot more. Actually. Do you really? Yeah. <clears throat> the thing's called a strobe attack. It's an early tachometer. You flash it at a rotating wheel or something. Oh yeah. And, it, and uh, the dial would tell you how many RPM. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Huh. a 12,000 volt neon sign transformer. Oh, no kidding? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Huh. Huh. You know, That's not something you see every day. You know about the Jacob's Ladder, the two wires that go up like that and the spark goes Yeah. That you could power one. Oh, of them. that's cool. Yeah. What are you asking for that? This thing? Yeah. Um, maybe 20. 20 bucks. Does it work as far as you know? Yeah. Okay. I'll buy it. Okay. This thing, I used to work for a company that made uh, gas measurement uh, products. And this thing measures and records gas, cubic feet of gas, uh, on a big meter. Wow. Corrects for temperature and measures pressure. And stuff. That's wild. So, uh, you know. It's got a nice, a nice big heavy aluminum parts on it and it's nifty. Yeah. So for a gadgeteer, that might be interesting. All right, I think I'm ready to settle up with you. Okay. I've got this stuff here and then I owe you another 20 for the um, that transformer. Okay. So I've got 12, makes it 32, uh, five is 37. I wasn't sure what you wanted on these three. <clears throat> These are really classics. I was a Tinker Toy kid. Oh yeah? Kid, and I went into a Tinker Toy binge on eBay. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, I guess I'll let them go at six each. That's fine, yeah. So that's and another... That is a classic. Yeah, that's another $18. So if my math is right, it comes to... Let's see, 17, 55? Is my math right? 18 for these three, plus right. 5 is 23, plus 12 is 35, plus 20 is 55. Is it, um, oh, the, this one? Yeah, for 20 you said? Yeah. Two, 
55. Thank you, sir. Good deal. Good luck with the sale. Yes, thanks a lot. I'm glad you came. Morning, how are you? I got four dollars worth of tapes here. Okay. Um, I'll go get you a bag. We need okay, thank six dollars in change. <coughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Drop those down there. Perfect. And here's your money. Thank you. Have a great day. Morning. How are you today? Good about yourself. Were you? Yeah. Anything air is a quarter. Okay. something else just take some <laughs> just gotta get rid of it huh oh, well don't have to but yeah it's How much are your books? Dollar each. Dollar each. I got four of them. Okay. There you go. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. Appreciate Good luck with your sale. All right, thank you. All right, I'm back at the shop, and once again, I did not find that much stuff but what i did find i'm really happy with and i think i'll make some good money on too got some cassettes at one sale and they were 20 cents each i think i got let's see i think i spent four dollars so i think i think there's 20 of them if my math's right and it's a pretty good variety we got some eagles genesis elton john just a mix of like rock and pop there's some van halen in here i've done really good selling cassettes lately i just did an auction for about, I think it was like 40 cassettes, something like that. And it brought like 60 or $70. I was shocked. Uh, and I started at a buck. So I'll run these um, all on auction. One big lot, start them at a buck. And I think I'll get 30 bucks or so. So definitely a good little find there. I got some books at one sale. And anytime I find sports books, I always check to see if they're signed. And lo and behold, one of them was. So this is signed by the late, great... Woody Hayes, Ohio State Buckeyes coach, and this is selling between like $150 and $200. Uh, there's not that many of them out there, and obviously with him being gone, he's not signing anymore, so that was an amazing find for a dollar. Also got this Charlie Hustle, Pete Rose book, um, Michael Jordan, Second Coming book, and this Richard Petty book, and I got this because I wanted to show you guys something. So when you open this up, it looks like... It could have been signed by Richard Petty, but this is a stamped signature. I'm not sure how clear it's going to show up, but the way you tell stamped signatures is that it's perfectly uniform. Uh, a machine made this signature. If somebody was signing their name, there would be some inconsistencies with the actual lines. Because you can't sign your name and make it just, you know, perfectly uniform throughout as far as, like, the ink. So this is most definitely a stamped signature, but when we look at the Woody Hayes one... 
you'll notice some inconsistencies with the darkness of the ink. Notice how right here it's pretty dark, but then right here it kind of like fades away a little bit. That's because naturally when you're signing your name and you're towards the end of it, you're lifting your pen a little bit. And that's what he did right there. That's what he did right here too a little bit. Like you can see different spots where um, the ink is darker than other spots. So that's how you know it is an actual signature. So yeah, pretty cool. Just something to look out for because stamped signatures are very, very, very prevalent in um, all kinds of sports stuff. Books and posters and prints and all kinds of stuff. I've been to many sales where somebody thinks something's autographed and I just pointed out to him like, hey, look, I hate the brochure bubble, but this is actually a stamped signature, you know, facsimile. I got some really cool stuff at this sale that had all the Tinker Toys. Um, this is a France former, and I want to say he said it's for neon lights. My, I could be misremembering, but I think that's what he said. I paid, I think, 20 bucks for this. I couldn't find the exact one, but some similar ones were going for some really good money, so I was all over that. The guy had some really, really cool stuff. He also had these old Tinker Toys, and from what I could tell, the Tinker Toys don't have a great sell-through rate. They don't sell for a lot of money, but these were just too cool for me to pass up. I got two older ones, and I noticed that this said Spalding, like the Sporting Sporting Goods Company, and I never knew that they owned Tinker Toy. Um, I don't know if they still own Tinker Toy, but I just thought that was super neat. So I picked these up, and these two are actually still sealed in the plastic. Um, so I'm hoping that's going to help their value. These, I would guess, are from the 80s or 90s. It looks like Hasbro owns this one. So that's 2001. So not really vintage, but the fact that it still has the plastic, I think, is really cool. And this one's sealed as well. And this one is from 2000. So yeah, not super old, but new in the plastic. Hopefully it'll help the value a little bit. And even if they are not selling for a lot, I'll just give them to my kids to play with. Last but certainly not least, I got this big piece at that sale as well. This is a uh, General Radio Decade Inductor. Don't ask me what it does. I really don't know. Uh, but it was only 12 bucks, And I saw... I saw some crazy sale prices on this thing, like around $900. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's take a chance on it. Um, I highly doubt I'll get anywhere close to $900, but I definitely think I'll get more than $12. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.